message. This message will be for the new moon. This is for Libra in all placements. If you're new to the channel, this is general. It's not going to resonate with everybody. But if it resonates with you, hit that thumbs up. Hit that bell. And subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal reading, my information will be in the description box below. And if you would like to enter the August giveaway, all you have to do is comment below. Libra, Libra, Libras. Let's take a look into your energy. Libras, you could be like wanting to get spruced up, like do your hair up or do your makeup or uh change your wardrobe i feel like my libras are trying to do that right now for some of my libras where you are this season is just getting ready to change so you are you know switching up your wardrobe and whatnot all the good things okay libra we're going to start off with this sacred geometry for you we're going to see what's going on with the libras oh discernment Libras, you need to use your discernment when it comes to something that's new moon, honey. I'm not sure exactly what this is. This could be having to do with um somebody that you are around. Ooh, a divine feminine that is not a real divine feminine, Libra. Uh-oh. And a divine masculine. So you around a, a true divine masculine, but a fake divine feminine. That's what I'm hearing here. That's why you got to use your discernment. Because you around a true masculine, but a fake feminine. I don't know what that is, okay? I don't know what that is. This is somebody that is not, this is somebody that does not have true authority and someone that does have true authority, all right? You need to use your discernment when it comes to this person. Somebody always feels like they know everything. That's what I'm hearing here. Somebody is like, they always feel like they know everything while this other person really doesn't seem like or they don't make it seem like they know everything but if you ask them a question they'll tell you exactly what it is and then it will come up to be right that's what i'm hearing here libra i feel like this is a person that's not very talkative or not very um i don't know why i heard flamboyant i don't know why i heard that but this person is not really out there or like in a social group or a social butterfly, but this person is a, an authority figure. They are divine and they do hold a lot of wisdom. That's what I'm hearing here, Libra. This person is in their masculine energy. There's another person that should be around. This person is very feminine. This could be a, a, a guy or a, uh, a woman or a man. It doesn't matter. But this person is talkative. They love to talk. They like to create a lot of, they like to talk about all the ideas and what they want to do and what their aspirations are and their goals. But this is the same person that really never achieves what they set out to achieve. Or if they do, it's like off the backs or off the strength of another person. That's what I'm hearing here. So you could, this is the frequency of conception. This invites you to bring your consciousness to your origin and place everything a place where everything begins. So you're you're having new beginnings, Libra. You have new beginnings, like I said. And look, you're the real divine feminine. So that's how you could tell. That's how you could tell the difference between um a fake divine and a real divine because you are divine your own self. That's what I'm hearing here. And if this message is resonating with you, Libra, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe. Don't forget, if this message is not resonating, you could check out my other channel, T Infinity, or you could check out your moon, rising, Venus, North Node, any other sign on this channel as well. Don't forget, comment below. And if you'd like to book a personal, my information is in the description. So, Libras. You are having to use your discernment when it comes to somebody in authority because you are um, bringing things to a new beginning, okay? You're bringing things to a new beginning. And somebody doesn't, I feel like, want you to know that you're divine or want you to stay in this divine energy. They want to bring you, they want to put you in a reverse type of energy. That's what I'm hearing right here. Archangel Michael, 
Protect this as we look into this energy for the Libras. Something is complicated, Libra. 11. This could be with a twin flame or with a significant other. This could also be um, with a wish that you had uh, when it comes to somebody. Yeah. 1222. Conclusion and letting go. 10 is the is the number of ending. 10 is the end. So there was a complicated situation. This is dealing with two people. Yeah, this cycle has been closed. This new moon. And something new is taking place. And you feel playful. Because you are a master. That's what I'm hearing here. You have 44, 11, and 22. You're a master ma manifester. You could have been seeing these numbers as well. You could have been seeing 11, 22. I'm hearing that for some of you. Some of you could have been seeing 12, 22. Some of you could have been seeing 12, 11. Some of you could have been seeing 12, 20. 20, 22. This is taking place right now. That's what I'm hearing here. All right, let's get an angel guidance for you. Angels, what is the guidance for our Libras here? Thank you. Clear your space, Libra. Clear your space of all negative energy I'm hearing. All right. Archangel Jaffiel is here saying, get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use feng shui. All right. So some of you may need to donate, donate, donate some summer stuff and get ready for fall because you're sensitive right now. This is Archangel Aniel. And Archangel Aniel says you are extra sensitive right now to energies and emotions, honor yourself and your feelings, Libra. So honor yourself and your feelings, Libra. Donate, get rid of some of this clutter because you have spiritual understanding that is coming for you. You have spiritual understanding that is coming forward towards you by Archangel Raziel. And he says, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Okay, so these are the synchronicities that you're getting with these numbers as well, Libra. And this is the sign that you are very sensitive right now to, um, you are very sensitive right now to feelings and energies. All right, this has this is definitely having to do with your soulmate, your significant other, your twin flame, your spiritual lover. That's what I'm hearing here. This situation is very complicated. Some of you could be in the same sex situation, or you could have had a same sex lover. This person um, is wondering if you have moved on to being heterosexual now. That's what I'm hearing here for some of you. Somebody is acting like they are bisexual, but they're not. They're just doing it because they're around you. That's what I'm hearing here. They're actually bi curious, Libra. That's what I'm hearing here for some of you. This person is like, they love your energy and it's like they want to be like you look, but this person is not a true high priestess and you know that. But this person could be trying to pretend like they are Libra because they see your success and your victory. Okay, this person is trying to plot on you. That's what I'm hearing here. This could be somebody from your past. They want a new relationship with you. All right. This person is very emotional when it comes to you because they know that you're intuitive, Libra. They know you're a high priestess for some of you or a high priest. They know that there was an end to a situation, but they still feel like it's complicated. They still want to have something to do with you, but you're creating new things and you're letting go of things that no longer serve you. Okay, Libra, like I said, you're very sensitive to energies right now. So let's see what's going on here. Why did you show us discernment? Discernment for the leaders. Queen of Pentacles. Have discernment when it comes to your mother for some of you. Have discernment when it comes to someone that um, wants you to offer them stability or wants to create stability with you. That's what I'm hearing here. Because this person just wants to use you. Authority. Why did you show us authority here? Libra, look. This is you in the in reverse. This person is jealous of your authority, Libra. This person did you in an in injustice and you cut them off. Is this the moon card? It is. You will be cutting this person off if you haven't. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo. For some of you. 
That's why you need to have discernment because they want to do you an injustice deeper but this is your energy coming out. It's like because you're a healer or you were healed. It's the star card or because you can heal. And you already know this, I'm seeing here, because the sun card is coming out. This person knows that you know that they're just trying to make it see, copy you. This person is trying to copy you, basically. Authority. What is authority? Yeah, that's how much they watch you. They, they talk, want to talk like you, act like you, do stuff you do. This person wants your divine energy, but they don't want to go through the shit you went through. They don't. They just want to watch you. See? This is a karmic. This person don't want to go through shit, but they want to have what you have. Or they want to be who you are. Or they want to have the this they want to have this energy that you have. But this energy that you have, you got this because of the hard work that you put in and because of your faith. That's what I'm hearing here. Because of your faith, Libra. That's how you became a healer. So why did you show us this conception, please? This person is watching the hell out of you, though. Mm -hmm. Libra, look. Because this person is not generous like you. They don't give anything. This person is watching you online. Eight of Wands here. Okay? Because, yeah, they know you intuitive. And somebody's trying to offer you a cup. A, a new cup of love. And this is the new beginning that's happening for you, Libra. You are divine feminine. I'm seeing that here. And you deserve the Ten of Pentacles. And you will get the Ten of Pentacles, Libra. Okay? Point blank, period. Cool. Why you show us this um, complicated for the Libras? Nine of Pentacles. Because you're single and abundant while somebody else thought that you wasn't. Okay? Somebody else thought that you wasn't. Yeah, they thought they was going to keep you trapped in a commitment or something while they went out and did whatever they wanted to do. But that didn't happen. That was a challenge for them because you are a star, Libra. And because you concentrate on your pentacle. That's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, this was a karmic. They heartbroken. This was a karmic that is heartbroken. Do you see this? Because like I said, they wanted to watch you so much. They wanted to watch you so much and be just like you. That the shit got exposed. The sun card. And didn't I tell y'all the sun card was already going to come out? I told y'all that. Somebody was seeing red flags about this. Probably you, Libra. Let go. Yeah, Libra. Now they jealous and envious over you because you let them go. Because you let this person go. Mm-hmm, Libra. That's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. King of swords. You see this? What is this? This look like a tower or something. Is this the tower? This is the ace of pentacles. This is what you're getting while somebody else is getting this. I cannot make this up. This could be a Gemini. But you're getting this new beginning while somebody else is getting the tower when it comes to love. Because they know that they being fake. They know that you're sensitive too. And they know that you get spiritual knowledge, esoteric knowledge. And you have brilliant ideas. And they know that you are well. They know all is good with you. So that's why this person is going through a tower moment right now. That is why. Because they thought that you wasn't going to let them go. And you let their asses go. Five of pentacles. Cannot make this shit up, Libra. And you continue to move on. And you block that ass. Could have been a cancer. Okay? For doing sneaky shit from you. And they still want to know what can they do sneaky towards you now. Because they know that you're getting this cup of love. And you're very playful. Okay, you could be a divine feminine that I'm talking to. Sorry about that. All right, any other messages? Three. Somebody is doing something by the three. That's what I'm hearing here. All right, because they want you in regret or they in regret for hiding them true selves from you. And they feeling fragmented because they know they were envious of you the whole time. Okay, and they wanted to be just like you. That's what I'm hearing here. But you're playful. And that is your message. And they're lustful. Okay. So I hope this message resonated with you. We're going to pull some angel answers. Remember, this is a monology. This was for the new moon. Um, stay in your energy. You are master. Right now, Libra, you are mastering yourself and everything around you. Look at this. A new romantic cycle begins. And didn't I tell y'all that? 
new moon in libra okay a time for healing take your time and heal libra all right and release the negativity a time to release negativity full moon in scorpio all right so this could be a scorpio let's put some angel answers and get up more out of here that's a no that is a no okay this lustful situation and this person that is dealing with you if this is a scorpio that is a no trust trust most high said libra and last but not least improving your health recovery all right so if you like the book of personal reading my information is in the description box below like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video